Hi everyone, hope you've had a great day. Welcome to today's video where we're going to colour in a Pikachu creative character. Now you might have seen this in one of my other videos where I played an art game where you fold the paper and you can create some really cool characters. Well I am colouring that in now. Pikachu is crossed with a marlin and a robotic spider. I am providing contrast with my colours. I'm using primary colours or hot colours at the moment and then I'm going to add in some blue. So most of Pikachu is going to be yellow, red and blue with a few other little colours in there. Now this game that I played in my other video is awesome for your creativity. You can combine things and make them look cool. You can even play this with your friends and anyone at home where you fold up the paper, you draw a head on the top part, a body through the middle and some legs on the bottom and you got to make sure that they line up but you could draw the head and then pass it to a friend and they could draw the body and vice versa which could be really cool as you can see in this video I've sped it up to show you the colors using some hot colors here so I've gone from yellow to orange to red for the legs and I've repeated that to make it look effective. You want to repeat your colours, you want to have contrast which means light against dark and at the moment I'm just putting on some shadowing with an orange and some more finer details. And then you can see that I put purple on the red okay? because that's, color, that's a darker colour that's next to it. And to finish it off I'm just going to outline it with a sharpie. I'm going to use a variety of sharpies, a ultra fine and a fine and the reason I like that is because it gives us variety of line and makes our pictures stand out. So I'm putting the thicker line on the right hand side shadow areas and I'm going to use the thinner line on the other parts. This technique or art game is so much fun because we can create so many varied and different um, characters. Now what's one thing that you guys have a lot of, and I'm talking about you kids, is imagination. So you can use that to create some really cool characters. You can use some of the characters that are already existing and you can combine them with animals and robots or trucks or cars or vehicles or whatever you can think of and you combine them, all you have to do is make sure that they line up between the sections. Like this video, check out my other lit video linked below and in the description. Thanks a lot guys, we'll see you next time, bye!